Hi folks, this is Language Proof and Logic Exercise 1.3. What we have to do is build a world in which all of those 10 sentences that we just wrote down are true. Here I have a file with the 10 sentences, and here I have a world. If you want to get your world from the top view, which I like, just click this button over here. We have a bunch of names, so we have to create objects with those names. I'm just going to drop in some objects by hitting this button. I'll name one of them A. Uh, move A into my workspace here. A has to be a tetrahedron in order for this to be true. So let's give it shape a tetrahedron. And then let's make it medium too. So now these two first, first two sentences ought to come out as true. I need to name B and C. So let's pick another object. I'll call this one B. B has to be a dodecahedron, so let's move its shape. Uh, put it somewhere up here. And then object C, let's call this one C. I can leave C as a cube. So let's see what I've got so far. Oh, look, I've already got A in front of B, so that's good news. But I need to make A between B and C. So I might just think, okay, I'll do this. Move that here. Move C here and see how it goes. Ah, but there's still a problem. Notice B has to be left of C, so I have to have B over here somewhere. But how can that be the case where A is behind, uh, A is in front of B? It seems like there's a tension between these. Um, but notice this, between works on a diagonal. So the key to this trick is to realize the diagonal predi uh, the between predicate can work on a diagonal just fine. Now I've got my between sentence coming out as true. Okay, uh, and I have my left of sentence, my front of. All three of these can be true simultaneously once you get the trick. Lastly, I have to make A smaller than C. A's got to be medium, so C's got to be large then. Uh, now I'm really getting close. A equals D. I need another object named D. But don't make a new object and name it D. Don't drop in a new tetrahedron here. Make it a medium tetrahedron, because that's not what identity means. Identity doesn't just mean A and this D share all the same properties. It means A and D are literally the same object. So notice if I highlight A, I can click any of these other names too. Except B and C, of course, since those are already allocated. If I want to name something B, I can just unclick B, and then I can name A B. But of course, I need to leave this one B, and I need A to also be named D. Uh, now we've got it. Now just save your world file with the right name, and you're ready to submit it. Thanks.